Hello everybody, Becky here with the Simple Spruce Studio. Welcome guys, come on in. I gotta get my fixing stick here. I think I, oh, a little too far. <laughs> I can't reach you guys, so I gotta make sure I'm straight. <laughs> hello, hello guys, welcome. Welcome to my segment of Craft Around the Clock this week, guys. Let me refresh here and get some comments up and going. So guys, come on in, get comfy. Come on. It's thinking about it. Okay, today I've got two rolling pins. We're going to um, upcycle. I need to get these upcycled, get them on the website for sale. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Rose. Come on in, guys, and get comfy. Good morning, good morning, all. Oh, Paula, girl, God love you. Thank you for the stars. Good morning, Mary and Shelly. Come on in. I look really dark, don't I, guys? Hang on one sec. Let me see on Facebook, anyway. Let me see if I've got my little flash on, and it looks like I do. Oh, okay, I don't know why it just looks dark to me, but well, we're gonna go ahead and get started. <laughs> Hi, Annette. There's Miss Tracy. Good morning. So, okay, guys, we've got a thrifted rolling pin. I actually have one over here that's already got a paint job on it, but we're gonna start with this one. I wanted to do something um, really farmhousey colors and. You can tell on here that this used to have red handles on it. Well, we're going to go back to the red handles, but for the base of it, we're going to use, I haven't even opened this one yet. Oh, this is my apothecary. This is DIY in apothecary. I do got a new one. The other one, I've got to add some to it and let it, uh, so good morning, Deb from rainy wet Oklahoma. Oh, Linda, send us some of that rain. Send it our way. We could use a little bit more. If you guys see me looking off, I am doing, I'm double doing it here. I'm, uh, there's Bree. Hey girl, how are you? Hey, I know you were, said something about getting a hold of me uh, later. Just private message me and I can send you my phone number or whatever. I know you said you wanted to ask me some questions or pick my brain. So anytime, girl, anytime. And y'all, if you want some DIY paints and products, that's your girl. Bree, you can post your link in the comments there. She carries all your DIY stuff, guys. So she is your girl. Good morning, Carolyn. We are in for storms tomorrow. Good to know, good. So the rain is headed our way. Oklahoma is sending it to us. <laughs> they usually do. Oh, what is a good price for a used roll? You know what? I don't pay more than $3. Um, well, I say that they've gone up. Goodwill has priced their stuff up high. If anybody goes out resale shopping, you know that Goodwill has, they've upped their prices a little bit. So for three or four dollars is what I usually pay for my rolling pins. And it depends on what area you're in, guys. Um, a lot of people pay more than that because that's just what they're selling for in that area. But I think Goodwill keeps an eye out on what they know is selling and what's not, and they're starting to price things up. So. Good morning, Miss Debbie. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I am using my Klingon F30 brush. Um, Brie, did you sell, do you sell these brushes or? I thought maybe you did. Anyway, we're gonna use the Apothecary and we're gonna start, we're gonna do the body of this rolling pin with Apothecary, guys. I did wipe it off with uh, Clorox wipes. But these are items that have been in my stash. 
So we're going to farmhouse this one up. Now the other one, the second one I have got, <laughs> she does love her Klingons. I love these and the new DIY brushes. I haven't used, uh, let's see, I got a new one from Brie just the other day. And look at how pretty it is. I haven't used this one yet. It hasn't gotten used. But, oh, I don't know what it is about new brushes. It's like having clean, bright, white, new socks or something. <laughs> I love it. And then I also got the dark and decrepit from her that I have been wanting. And the DIY uh, cottage color in crockery. This is going on a piece of furniture that's coming up on my next YouTube, you guys. It's sitting out in the garage. It's just, it's just waiting. It's just waiting for me. So those are the items I just recently ordered from Brie. So yeah, Brie, if you post your link in the comments, that would be great. Because anybody's looking for any DIY products, that's your girl. And if you don't follow Brie on Facebook or YouTube, guys, go check her out. You'll love her. We have similar styles. She is awesome. So yes, the other rolling pin I already have painted up. I will show you as soon as I get this one painted what colors I used on it. And what we're going to do, because we are going to get my hair everywhere. Um, we are going to use some transfers, some IOD transfers on it and a stamp. And I wanted to make sure that my paint was all the way dry. You guys have seen me struggle if the paint's not dry or your top coat isn't completely cured. Yeah, the struggle is real, y'all. Trying to be a little neat, but I am gonna go over the handles. They are going to be red. I think that is such a cool vintage combination, kind of like the turquoise green, blue with red. Bree, I just sent you a friend request. Oh, there's my girl, Tyler Joe. She's on. She is, for those of you who are new, she is my youngest of three girls and just recently had our second grandbaby daughter who I had all day yesterday. Grandma gets to babysit. So right now I'm watching, I think, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. So I get my baby fix. I told Tyler yesterday though, I was like, I've got to order a car seat because <laughs> Paula saying hi to Tyler. Now Paula's daughter and my daughter, Tyler, went to school together. They graduated together. So how are those sweet grandbabies, Deb? They are awesome. They're growing so fast. It's like their little facial features are already filling out and stuff and uh it's like slow down already and I know she just turned a month old on the ninth so and the other one's just a little over two months old so Miss Mary with Ocean Breeze and me hello y'all stay tuned on Cracker on the Clock because Miss Mary is up next after me grandbabies are the best they are they are Oh my God, it's amazing with the love that you have for your grandbabies. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> oh, hello, Elizabeth. I'm going to dry this one up. 
Now, if I have time, let's see, I started at 10.30, so 11.15. Um, I do have plans to use some IOD stamps on this one. And I have to look, I have it laid out. I can't remember the name of the stamps that I'm gonna use. <laughs> you will love Bucky. Oh, we got some newbies out there. Hello and welcome. I hope you guys like what you see, that you'll stick around, hit that like and follow button. Oh, Mary, they do. And I know my uh, daughter, Tyler and Paige, they're always like, oh, I can't wait till she gets this age or I can't wait till I'm like, no, don't, don't rush it. I said, when that gets there, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, remember when she was so tiny and yeah. I remember with my oldest, Drew, it was like, oh, I can't wait till she starts talking. What's going to be her first word? What's her voice going to sound like? And, uh. And then she started talking and then it was like endless and it was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Don't rush it. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have another first time to watch me. Denise, hello and welcome. Oh, they're going to make you a great grandma. Well, congratulations. That's awesome. Kathleen, hello and welcome. Okay. We are going to do another quick coat on this one since it dries so fast. I can't wait to see what the red handles and that, you know, it's going to get distressed back because I want the red. I think I'm going to use Marquee by DIY on the handles. Pam, it's your first time too. Awesome. Oh, I love seeing new faces. I say faces. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay. Just hit those air spots real quick. Hello, Tanya. Yes, if you guys are catching me on my page, The Simple Spruce Studio, make sure posted in the link below is the link to Craft Around the Clock if you're interested in catching crafters, very talented crafters, all day long on that page. Just popped on what paint brand and color are you using? Miss Rhonda, I am using DIY paints and this is Apothecary. One of my favorites. Let me get this dry enough to where I can at least lay it down. Keep in mind that uh, DIY is a chalk-based paint, or clay-based paint, and well, I think it's clay chalk, but more clay-based. It has to be sealed in or it can be reactivated. Okay, that's good enough. And then I want to do red. It is a very pretty color, isn't it? Pam says she is new to the groove. Awesome. Okay, so we want to do the handles, and the handles are going to get distressed back quite a bit. So it's going to be a one coat. I do want to get it down in those little details so it stays there. It's 
it's going to get really quiet. <laughs> I've got to concentrate. This isn't one that I can actually turn the handle and this handle moves. Some of them are like that, which would have been easier, but. Oh, wait, you see how I stamp them. I'm going to use the IOD stamps on this next one. Oh, of course. I got red already on my... Rhonda, you can get the DIY paints in my link tree below. I think I have um, the link saved. If not, I can also add it to the uh, description here when I'm done. But it is Upcycled by Brie is where I get all my DIY products from. Now the IOD transfers and stamps that I'm going to be using, I get those from Mara with Vintage Retail Therapy. And I think I have added her link to my link tree below too. And I'm not sponsored or have an affiliate link or anything with them, y'all. I just, I just, look at that. I just like to make a mess with my red. Um, like to support my fellow crafters. We all do that with each other. We're all gonna we grow and prosper. Okay, since that only needs one coat, let's wipe this off so we can paint back over it. <laughs> and then we're going to move to the next one that is already dry. I just want to cover this up a little bit here. Okay, now those two colors, y'all, DIY Apothecary and DIY Marquee in the red. Those are the two colors. And once that sets up and I come back to it, we are going to distress that down and add a stamp to it. Well, this one here has been drying for a little bit now. I did this right before I came on. The colors I used on this, now I use Dixie Bell paints. I do not have an actual link. I think I just went to, um, is it Vintage V Design or actual Dixie Bell site and got the buttercream. Now this is a chalk mineral paint. It does not, which needs to be sealed, but it does not wet distress as well as the chalk, the DIY paints do. So that's what I love about the DIY paints and they're easier to blend. And then I also use the Vintage Duck Egg by Dixie Bell for the handles. And that's what you're looking at here. So for this one, y'all, we are going to use IOD's Kindest Regards. I want to use this over the whole body of, man, that red pigment is everywhere. We're going to ditch that and do that. So first we're going to start off with our kindest regards. And I've got IOD's ink 
and it's the black. But I just used a Craft Smart ink pad because I already had one. So I thought until this one gets all gross and wore out, I'm going to use it. So, but IOD does have their own little ink pads. So I'm going to ink up this whole pad. I did take and pour the ink over the ink pad just to get it. Get it all inked up good which really I probably shouldn't have but that's okay because I want it to look kind of light good afternoon Becky great to find you live it's 5 50 p.m. here interesting to see what you're doing with the rolling pins Plus your late mom's, yeah, we got Troy's uh, mom's rolling pin that he uses always to make his homemade chicken and dumpling noodles and all that stuff. So I remember the first time I did a DIY on a rolling pin, he probably freaked out because he was like, oh my God, where did you get that rolling pin from? <laughs> I'm like, it's not your mom's, I promise. <laughs> it's not. So all I'm going to do is, now the trick to this is to try to stop where you start just so it doesn't look like it's been rolled over a couple of times which sometimes is hard but and it really doesn't matter because you want that look but all I'm going to do is lay this on here and hopefully stop oh, look at this y'all how easy was that? Just leave it lay down there, roll the rolling pin over. Awesome. Ta-da! And then I will just take a baby wipe and wipe off that ink, but I want to get it dry because I also want to put some florals on this. So I'm just gonna heat gun this a little bit. Love that. Great job. Thank you. Yeah, the first time I did it like that, it was probably a year ago, I guess, and I didn't stop soon enough and it overlapped and it kind of looked a little smudgy, but it still looks it still looks good. Just want to dry this ink a little bit just to keep it from smearing. Okay, because most, most of it's going to be covered up. Well, I take that back. I think I want to do the fewer flowers. Now this one here is Elysium by IOD. This is the book, transfer book that I am working with. This is what it looks like in its full, it's four sheets. You can be, it can be put together like that for like a big piece of furniture. Now this one I knew when I got it, I was cutting it up for um, the pieces to use. Another one now, it's gonna go on the dresser that I'm using crockery on. That's gonna be on my next uh, YouTube video, furniture video. So I'm thinking that I want just kind of seeing where I can cut this off at. Or do I want this side? And save, save the rows for another day. I think I'll do that. So I'm just gonna grab my scissors now that I've got my rolling pin on here and I'm gonna mark where I want to cut this. I'm 
You don't think that you have to use these sheets exactly like they are, you do not. Can, but you do not have to. These rolling pins will be listed on my website for sale if anybody's interested at the simplesprucestudio.com. They're not there yet. When I get done here, I will try to get some pictures taken and I just folded it in half just to get myself started here. So then you take the little tool that comes with your transfers and just start rubbing it on. What am I doing on time? We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Sprinkled. Sprinkled you on this side of the big pond, and thank you so much. Oh, how about diagonally? That would have looked good too if I would have seen that sooner. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be doing more. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this all the way around. And then the same way I rolled on the Kindest Regard stamp on this one, I'm going to do that with um, this stamp here. Which one is this one? The Law Campaign stamp. Because there's a big rooster on there that I want to get onto this rolling pin and then distress it all up real good. I think that's going to look awesome. I would never have thought about doing what you are doing with that. Kathleen, well, I'm glad I can inspire you. And this will get sealed with, um, I will spray polyacrylic on, on these. It will not be for food use, of course. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, Patty. I see Patty, and that reminds me of Miss Pat Mintz. I have something that she purchased from me, and I've got to set up a lunch time with her. But with the holiday and everything, it's been crazy. My new babysitting position. <laughs> my stamps, my IOD products I get from uh, Mara at Vintage Retail Therapy. I think I have her link in my link tree below. There's a little like, looks like um, chain links down there at the bottom you can click on and it has some links that you can check out. And my IOD or my uh, DIY paint and products, I get from Upcycled by Brie. Hi, Miss Debbie. Hi, Carol. Thank you. She's sprinkling out in my neck of the woods. I am from Missouri, y'all. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Seems to be coming off pretty fast, but. Let's see 
where we're at. I'm gonna lift as I go here and see if what doesn't stick. I'm gonna lay it back down and just rub right back over it. Oh, one little spot there. So if you go slow while you lift, then I'm gonna take my transfer sheet I'm gonna burnish it with this just to make sure everything's laying down. See all that goodness? Look how pretty. And I love how the Kind Disregard stamp just adds that soft French looking background to it. Now we are going to sand <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna sand like I said this will get uh, sprayed with a polycrylic. Now, to give you guys a heads up, on DIY paint, not so much the Dixie Belle, but on this DIY paint, how chalky it looks, when I go to spray that to seal it in with the polycrylic, it's going to brighten up that paint because DIY, being a clay-based paint, is uh, dry, chalky. And if you want to keep that chalky look to it, I would use a clear wax to seal it with and then it'll dry back down to that chalky finish once the wax cures. But if you want a little bit of a shine to it and you want the color to brighten up like the color it was when it was wet before it dried, you can use uh, DIY's uh, Big Top uh, Crystal Clear Chandelier or even just a can of spray poly will brighten this up and it won't look that chalky look. So it just depends on what look you're going for with that, with your project. Do this one here real quick and I'll show you what it looks like and we might get to at least put one of the stamps on the other one. going around the edges here and you can sand over your IOD transfers you want to look like they, they've been on here for quite some time that aged look you can most definitely sand over them Dressing on the handles y'all and then all this one needs now is to be sealed up with a spray oh thank you guys so we've got that one now this one here is also going to get distressed but we're going to see what am I doing on time yeah, about 10 minutes this is La Campaign and I want to start with this big rooster. Man, you know the one thing I did not grab was my my sheet to take it off and put it on. I forget what it's called, but when you first get these, you need to take a light sandpaper, find a light grit one, and sand over Just, just the first time you use these, you want to prep them to hold your ink or your paint, whatever it is you're going to use. So I'm just going to do the whole sheet so I don't forget next time. This is the first time I've used this one and I've had it a while. <laughs> Hi, Babs. 
Oh, I think this just might be the most favorite thing I've watched you do. Oh, well, good. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go this way on them. Like I said, you don't have to do this every time, just the first time you go to use them. It just preps the stamp to hold your ink. Okay. So what I'm thinking maybe is just put the ink on that rooster. When I roll my rolling pin over it, nothing else will have ink on it. So. <laughs> you guys see a problem here? <laughs> Woo. And I would say it's lack of caffeine, but it's not. I'm on my second coffee. <laughs> or that it's just too early, but it's not. <laughs> oh, Lord. That was bad. <laughs> Not gonna get too far like that, am I? <laughs> now, like I said, normally I would have my, I got a little sheet that I could take this off of and put it on so it's easier to handle, but I don't wanna leave you guys and I wanna get this done before I run out of time. So all I'm doing is trying to ink this up without getting ink on any of the other stamps. So I can roll the rolling pin over it. Okay, y'all, let's see how this is gonna work. So I think I got some ink on that one. I'm just gonna wipe to make sure. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that one, I, this one I probably, I thought about doing this one horizontal, but I'm afraid that it's gonna be too, the tail will overlap. Okay, here we go. It's just, it's just ink, guys. We can redo it if it doesn't work out. Ooh, ooh. His little legs don't wanna print on there. This is our rooster. We are missing a few spots. See his little legs aren't connected. Darn it. Okay, well we're gonna dry it. We're gonna go with it. I might be able to just take a dry brush with that ink and just fill that in. We're gonna see it's dry later on before I seal it. I might just take this off of the uh, sheet and try to hit the spots that didn't take. But the La Campaign one, you get two sheets. Now the other one has some little ones on it. spot here y'all let's see which way is it going to be mm, I think I might just leave it like it is the size proportion is going to be funky 
cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> Look at you, brilliant. Oh, thank you. Oh, with the greenery transfer. I could do that. I'd have to pull out some later and see that that's a good idea. Well, we're gonna go ahead and distress. Now, red, when you distress it, sanding it, this is DIY beans. I'm going to start with this color first. Because you sand that red paint, oh my gosh, because DIY paint is very heavily pigmented. So I'm telling you, when you distress it back, the red, that powder, you have to be careful with it because it will smear onto other parts of your project. So here I'm just getting all the edges. You guys can see that. See, look at that. And it doesn't look like I've taken a whole lot off either. That's how pigmented DIY paint is. That is one of the things I love about it. He's heavily distressed. Again, don't forget guys, this, these will be listed on the website at the Simple Spruce Studio. It should be um, in the link tree below if anybody's interested. And make sure you stick around for Ocean Breeze and me, Miss Mary, is up next on Craft Around the Clock. That link is also pinned below if you guys have not checked that page out yet. Okay. Now these are going to look more faded red when they dry. Like I said, I wanted to distress back quite a bit. But I love those colors. Love them, love them. Like I said, the only thing that's bugging me is his little feet. And I'll think about that. Like I said, I might take it off. There's a couple different ways I can go about it. Take the stamp off, just ink up that part, try to line it up as best I can to redo his feet. Yeah. Oh, and I need to finish distressing this part on this side. And these will get sealed with a polycrylic so that paint cannot be reactivated. And then they'll be good to go. And you guys, I'm not, as far as when it comes to decorating, I'm not a red fan. Even though I have a big red rooster glass, old, old window with reverse painting on it in my dining room. You guys have probably seen that. <laughs> I think that's the only red that I have in my house as far as decor. Of course, until Christmas and yeah. But I love these two colors together. And that is even going to be so much, it's going to brighten these up once I spray those. So there we go guys, there's that one and this one. So you let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it inspires you guys, gives you some ideas of 
how to upcycle some decorative rolling pins. So, all right, guys, I want to thank you all for joining me. Stay tuned on Craft Around the Clock for Ocean Breeze and Me. Mary's up next, guys. You don't want to miss that. So, thank you all, and I will see you all next time. Love you guys. Bye.